Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rudy McDowell, reporting for the RTC News. Today, we're focusing on the economy of Latvia. Comparing the country's economy to the previous years, we can say that Latvia's economy is increasing as time goes on. Although, for the most part, Latvia's economy is doing well, it is, however, under threat of deflation, and that will lead to the downfall in their economy. The country's current GDP is at approximately $51 billion. Although $51 billion is not a large number, Latvia is increasing its growth rate. This will lead to higher incomes and greater output, both which benefit the households and firms in the nation. The country's growth rate is at 4.1%. This is a stable economic growth. However, the aggregated demand is weak. The reason why it is weak, the economists are still unsure. Low aggregated demand will lead to low inflation, but also high unemployment. Many people in the country are doing well. With the country's current GDP, per capita is approximately $22,000, placing Latvia as a high-income country. Moreover, Latvia's Gini index is not high, 36, suggesting that the distribution of income is quite even. Therefore, the vast majority of the population is receiving an income around the same level. This leads Latvia to achieve its macroeconomic objective of equal income distribution, as well as a stable growth rate. This shows that the economy is prosperous and stable. However, there are some problems with the economy. The inflation rate of Latvia is at as low as 0.0% and it is under the threat of deflation. This will lead to the rising of unemployment rate because with the expectation of lower future prices for the output and with low demand for goods and services, firms are likely to lay off workers. This will lead to a higher unemployment rate as well as a downward pressure on workers' wages across the economy. Furthermore, if firms expect less demand for their output in the future, they will invest less into the market. This will result in a slower economic growth as the nation's capital stock depreciates over time and is not being replenished at, at a rate that will promise sustainable growth. With reference to the inflation rate, Latvia's current unemployment rate has enjoyed a gradual decrease over the years. With an approximately 21% unemployment rate on January 2010, Latvia's current unemployment rate is 10.6% in 2014, a decrease of approximately 10%. This is a great news because the statistics suggest that the country's economy is improving over the years. The reason why the inflation rate is so low but the unemployment rate is high is because of demand deficiency. This can be shown in the diagram, where AD is weak and shift left. As a result, average price level will decrease and firms will produce less because of lower price. Firms are likely to fire workers because of the lower price and this will lead to high unemployment rate. This explains the current situation. On the Phillips curve, the point will be at point A where the inflation rate is low and unemployment is high. Last but not least, one of the possible consequences of economic growth in a free market economy is inequality and in the distribution of income. On the positive side, Latvia holds an average Gini index of 36. This means that income distribution in Latvia is relatively equal or at least not significantly uneven. And that concludes our economic news for today. Thank you for listening, and I will see you again next time on RTC.